Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is you'll feel bad at first. The scripture comes from 2 Maccabees 11 and 9. And they all together praised the merciful God and were yet more strengthened in heart, being ready to assail not men only, but the wildest beasts and the walls of iron. So I took note that the scripture is literally not 11 because it's the 11th book and the ninth scripture. God said for somebody, there's going to be a situation that you are going to come across where you are going to be filled with utter panic. You're going to be filled as if it's utter terror. Like this is going to be something that is going to scare you. This is something that's going to shock you. This is something it's going to come out of all of us. It's going to come out of nowhere. But God said once this thing comes up against you, not only are you going to have the strength to overcome it, but you're gonna. You gonna over you gonna tackle this. It's not gonna be a situation where it's gonna be the end of you. You gonna see what's coming towards you and you're gonna be like, I bet. God said you are not only going to be, you're gonna be filled with the, the Holy Ghost Spirit. God said He's gonna fill you up. With the energy not only to destroy men but beasts as well. God said whatever this is that's about to come up against you. You're going to take that down. You're going to knock it down. You'll feel bad at first. And for some of you it could be a situation where after you finish you're going to feel bad. Because you know I'm thinking about how it could be a situation where let's say somebody try to attack you. Or somebody try to do you some kind of harm. And you're really not the kind of person. You don't like hurting nobody. You don't like fighting with nobody. And you know, you could be the kind of person where you can fight, but you don't like fighting. You can get really get in somebody, you know what, but you don't like doing that because you ain't trying to hurt nobody. God says somebody going to push you to the limit. And they're going to push you to such an extent you're going to tear them up. And you're going to feel bad about it. You're going to feel guilty. Because it's like this is somebody you don't like hurting nobody. But somebody going to push you. And when they push you, you're going to set them up. And I've experienced this before. Baby, I've experienced this before. I remember I was, um, see me and my ex, I, like, I, we, we was play fight. We used to play fight a lot. So I thought we were play fighting. And then he hit me for real, for real. Baby, I tore him up. Tore him up. Tore him up, 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 tore him up. Shock everybody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody want, it was people everywhere. Ain't nobody step in. Ain't nobody tell him he was tripping. Ain't nobody tell him to calm down. Ain't nobody defend me, baby. When I say the spirit of God jumped into me and I tore him up in front of everybody. Had to walk away from that fight with his tail between his legs. And I'm just being, I'm, I'm just being real. See, this is one of the messages that everybody can't relate to. Everybody can't give a message like this because everybody haven't had that experience. But that's like, and that's just what it is. But anywho, I just feel like this somebody you're going to be put in a position where somebody going to come at you and it's somebody you don't want to hurt. Because I feel bad. I ain't want to embarrass him like that. I didn't want to hurt him. I ain't even want to fight him to be real because we were fighting over nothing. He was acting silly and being, you know, just basically he was being a jerk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it. And he had no reason to be angry with me. He had no reason to be mad at me. He wanted to have complete control over my car. And he wanted to, you know, do this, that, and the third. And I was like, we're not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And it didn't even start that. It started somewhere. We was at a restaurant. It started fighting. And then we leave and he still want to fight. Still want to fight. Still want to fight. Baby told him up. Okay. Had him sit down and be quiet. Because we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. But see, I'm not like. I, I didn't even want to fight. And I typically don't. I don't want to hurt nobody. And I, I like, and it's not even, you know, and like I said, it's not a situation, you know, where I can't, it's not a situation where I don't know how it's not a situation where if it all pop off, I ain't going to go off, but it's a situation where I prefer not to, 
I'm, I'm very, I'm a very quiet person. I say to myself, I don't bother nobody and I would prefer for people not to bother with me. But if somebody insists on bothering with me, on messing with me, on starting drama and starting mess with me, then, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's the message. That's the message. And I just feel like, I like, even this message, I don't like it. Just because, you know, I remembering that day and what happened, like I said, I ain't even really want to fight. I thought, you know, we was play fighting at first. I don't mind play fighting, but I don't like fighting people that I care about because after I get to a certain extent, it, it's just like we can't rock with each other no more. We not cool no more. We can't be friends no more. We not homies no more. It's over. And I'm just being real. Because once it's, once, you know what I'm saying? Once you pull all star back in, baby, I'm going in. And I mean it. And, you know, I, I just remember at the end of that fight, I got him in a position and said, now nah, I'm going to ask you nicely. I told you I didn't want to fight you. I told you. I asked, I told you I didn't want to fight you. And I'm just being, I just feel like this is somebody you don't even want to fight this person. You don't want to fight this part. This is somebody you would never, not only would you not want to see them hurt, you for sure don't want to be the one to do it. But they going to push you because they going to hurt you. And once they do this, it's going to put you in a compromising position to where you finna put hands on. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like, you know what I'm saying? My ex-husband, baby, he thought, he thought, he thought, he thought, he thought, he thought he was used to them skinty girls. That he could just do whatever he want. Baby, and had me all the way jacked up. And I mean it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not the kind of person, you know, that just, you know, like, I I'm starting mess. I don't start mess. I'm on my business. I say to myself. And I, I, I really get tired of, you know, people that, that got that about them. Where they always, they see just because you're quiet. And just because you, you know what I'm saying, you stay to yourself. Don't mess with nobody. Don't bother nobody. For some reason, it is a, a group of people that they insist on messing with you. They insist on trying to get you ruffled up. They want to see what you're going to do. They want to see what you're about. And then when you show them, they act like you the bad guy. Leave me alone then now. That was an option. <laughs> That was an option. The, this whole time, you had the opportunity to leave me be. You chose to mess with me. And then when you get your just do, you want to act like I'm the bad guy. No, we're not going to do that. Anyways, that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. I just feel like that was said for somebody. Because you are really going to feel bad. Like, you really gonna feel, you gonna put a hurting on somebody, and you really gonna feel bad about it. But, I'm thinking about the, the song against uh, the movie Chicago, he had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> this is like somebody just poking you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Baby, it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's somebody that getting on your last nerve. They really getting on your nerves. They really going to get like this is somebody and they doing it on purpose. It's not a situation where you are ask, egging them on. It's not the other way around. This is somebody they going to be messing with you. They going to be pushing you. They going to push you. And I, I really feel like this is going to be a situation where somebody going to put their hands on you in such a way that you're going to have to show out. They going to do something to you where you going to have to show out. They, they going to pull it out of you. They going to pull it out of you. Baby, that's one of the things that I couldn't stand about. You know, me and my ex, uh, we start hot, uh, arguing and baby, he pull it out of me. And I just be like, I, I can't, I can't sit around you. I got to go. I got to go. I got to, I'll give me a hotel. I go to my mama's house. I go somewhere. I got to go somewhere. I can't stay here because I can't deal with it. I'm, I don't feel like fighting all night long. I don't feel like going back and forth. I don't want to have to have somebody in a hand in a headlock for them to get the understanding that it might be time for them to sit down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? For them to get the understanding that maybe if they would have just stayed seated and doing whatever it is that they were doing, we, everything would be calm. I don't want to have to put somebody in a position to where they got to rethink all of their life choices and what they decided to do. And they should have found somebody else to mess with. I don't have time for that. And I do realize that there are some people 
that when they see you quiet and they see you don't start messing with people, when they see that you ignore a lot of people, they feel like you are the perfect person for them to push and mess with and pick on and bully and do this, that, and the third. And then you have to show them one time you're not the one, then they leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? And I'm being reminded of the movie Holes where they kept on picking on old dude. What was his name? I forgot his name. Stanley. Okay, they kept on messing with Stanley. And then Stanley got into it with old dude and they left Stanley alone. And I just feel like this is going to be that kind of vibe. This is somebody they love picking on you. Or they, they try to. Or for whatever reason, they finna start. Baby, you finna tell, you finna tell them up. And I'm I, like, I don't know, baby, go and say you about to drag somebody. They finna get drugged. You finna drag them and drag. You finna mop the floor with they behind. And they finna learn today. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.